I'm Helen Graham and this is the Great British Chef Signature Series. I've always really loved food. Growing up, I would kind of always wrestle my mum out of the kitchen and try and do the cooking myself and then eventually made the plunge and became a chef. My first restaurant was the Palomar. I was really hesitant because I was quite scared of kitchens based on, you know, Gordon Ramsay and that kind of culture. But actually, it was a great experience and I'm so glad I did it. Hi, I'm Helen Graham. I'm the executive chef of Bibola. Um, we're here in Bibola, Soho, preparing our Baba Ganoush. Baba Ganoush, I, I, I mean, I, I love. I hear on a recipe that I think is really yummy, really special, um, and it's the combination of the Baba Ganoush and the curry leaf oil, I think, which particularly makes the dish sing. Cool, so to get started, I'm just gonna take my aubergines, and I'm just gonna stab them so they don't explode on the grill. So I'm just gonna pop these on the grill. These are gonna take a while, because um, you want to grill them until they're kind of gray on the outside and, and almost collapsed. And next to the grill, I've just got a um, colander, which I've set in a mixing bowl. When the aubergines are ready, I'm gonna take them off and put them in here to extract as much of the liquid. Uh, the liquid in the aubergine is really bitter, so you want to make sure you get rid of as much as possible. So I'm just going to turn these aubergines and make sure they're getting some even heat to make the curry leaf oil. I'm going to add um, our grapeseed oil to a blender. Add my curry leaves in. They give it a kind of a real fragrant fruitiness. Baba ganoush is a really rich dish. Aubergines are quite heavy. Um, and I think the curry leaf oil just really kind of brings it alive and adds a different dimension. So, in here, I'm just gonna blend these two together. Now that's blended, I'm just gonna add that to a pan. We're gonna heat that really gently for about eight to 10 minutes. Um, until it's nice and fragrant and bubbling. And I'm just gonna strain the curry oil. So next I'm gonna fry curry leaves. This is gonna be for the garnish of the bubble ganoush. So I've heated up some oil to 180 degrees. I'm now gonna fry the curry leaves. About two minutes, one to two minutes, just until they uh, start to look like they're going transparent. Uh, now I'm gonna toast my pine nuts. You're looking for a nice, deep golden brown. This aubergine is gonna come off. This one a bit longer. Ooh. Very watery. So I'm now going to peel off the skin from the aubergine. It should come off really nicely and easily if you've burnt them enough. That's why you need to really burn them at a high heat because the skin then just kind of flakes off. Don't worry if there's a little bit of flesh remaining. That's, that's okay, but if the majority is off, that's perfect, I'm just gonna pop that back, remove the other ones. So these are my aubergines that I've peeled. I'm now gonna really extract as much liquid as I can from them. So I've got them in a colander and I'm just gonna press down with a ladle. Don't worry about breaking up the flesh because we're gonna be blending this anyway. So in it goes. I'm also going to add confit garlic. Uh, we do this to add um, a kind of like caramelized garlic flavor on top of fresh garlic, just to layer the flavor there. So that's going to be added to our aubergines. We're also going to add tahini. Miso paste. Lemon juice. 
some garlic. And then I've got uh, mold and salt. Just gonna add that in. We're now gonna blend that until it's really nice and smooth. Right, so we've got our barbecue ganoush to a lovely, silky, smooth consistency. I'm just gonna transfer that to a bowl. So I'm just gonna plate up the barbecue ganoush. I'm gonna add the beautiful curry leaf oil that we've made. A sprinkle of our toasted pine nuts. And a gorgeous fried curry leaves. So this is our take on a bubble ganoush. 